All right, well, we are here on the edge of the Mallard Larkin, the Snow Peak Trailhead. And for this trip, I am joined by Dan from Shasta Bubba Adventures. We've been threatening to hike together for maybe a couple years now, and now it's finally happening. be a helicopter up there. Dan and I on top of Snow Peak. What a view. We also got a storm coming. Nothing but mountains. All right, just back on trail from our little side trip to Snow Peak. Now we're making our way down to the little north fork of the Clearwater. And now we're dealing with blowdown. At first, the trail was pretty decent with a few easy to pass blowdowns, but the farther we went, the worse it got. And before too long, we lost the trail altogether. <laughs> As we got further down in the drainage, I noticed that Timber was slowing down. He was having to jump over and get through a lot of blowdown, and we even had to help him get through some of it. As we were nearing the little North Fork, we were all dragging just trying to get to the bottom of the canyon. Well, good morning. It is a rainy morning day two here on the little north fork of the Clearwater. Really tough day yesterday. Way tougher than I was anticipating. Right now we're in rough shape. Timber is really stoved up. Trying, he could barely get down to the water to get a drink. I don't know, I'm pretty worried. I'm hoping he can rally here. Got another tough day today. And it's the Mallard Larkin, so he's not going to get a break. It's going to be up and down, up and down. I don't know how it's going to go today.
All right, we're just pulling out of this campsite. Timber is hurting pretty bad. Gonna make it to the trapper's cabin, reevaluate there. I'm carrying part of Timber's food. Dan's carrying part of Timber's food. See how it goes. We were pushing on because without even talking about it, Dan and I both knew it would be way harder to try to get back up the trail we came down than it would be to push on. We would have some options once we made it to the trapper's cabin. All right, well, we have made it to the Trapper's Canyon, or Trapper's Cabin, Canyon Creek. And uh, Dan and I are splitting up from here. He is going to go up to Sawtooth Saddle, stay there tonight. We're gonna stay here, let Timber rest. And then he'll have about a five mile or so road walk tomorrow to get the truck. And then hopefully we will meet him at the top. That is the plan. And it will work. <laughs> this one will work. <laughs> <laughs> Timber and I watched Dan hike out and settled in for the day. I was worried about how we were going to get out of there because we had to walk. Wasn't sure if I'd be carrying my pack or if I'd be carrying timber. Well, we've been here for a few hours now. Just been relaxing in the hammock. Timber is just laying around like I want him to. Of course, he doesn't feel like moving. He hasn't moved much since we've been here, so. Hopefully he is getting the rest he needs because uh, we gotta make the eight mile push tomorrow. Trapper's cabin looking a little rough. Come on up. All 
right, well, Timber and I are cashing in for the night. Hopefully hit it early in the morning. Hopefully uh, Dan is safely at camp up at Sawtooth Saddle. Sitting in his chair. Can't believe he's a chair guy. Can't thank Dan enough. Great, great hiking partner. Well, good morning. Morning day three here from Canyon Creek and the Trapper's Cabin. <sighs> We're gonna try to get to Sawtooth Saddle today. We have to get to Sawtooth Saddle today. Our ride's up there. Dan's a early riser and he's a go-getter, so I'm sure he will have the truck there by the time we get there. Timber's walking around on his own this morning. He's not walking well. But he's up and moving. I'm hoping he'll loosen up once we start hiking. Or else it's going to be a really long hike. We're just going to have to get going and, and get her done. See how it goes. All right, just leaving. See how this goes. He's not wanting to go. I think he just needs to get a little loose. He's very stiff. But we'll go this pace if we have to all the way. So we had some intel on this trail. <laughs> Said it was heavily used and was probably in good shape. And right here at the bottom, it's completely overgrown. Well, we've lost the trail. I'm on something. I think I could tell where Dan came, but I'm not sure now. GPS says it's back that way, so I'm gonna start backtracking that way. Timber's hanging in so far. It's hard to tell, but I just found the trail. All right. Hopefully we can just hike for a while. It's gonna be hard enough as it is without having to find the trail. It's a drop to the left too. You don't want to step off the trail that way. Pretty good so far, first break.
over six miles for the day. Timber's doing pretty good. Should leave us a couple to get up to the saddle. Timber got stronger as we hiked on, sometimes even passing me when I needed a break. We started to get into a rhythm as we were pushing for the saddle where I knew Dan would be waiting. Oh, am I happy to see that truck. Ooh. Cheers! Cheers. Oh, and survivors. <laughs> <laughs>